yeah, just this, this is the pile. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Builds Back to Life, and today we have a whole garage sale haul to unload, and it filled the whole car this weekend. Let me show you. The car is chock full. The whole back seat. And then also, the whole trunk. Amazing. So much stuff. A lot of this is uh, vintage books, vintage board games. There's an old antique radio. All sorts of stuff that I picked up over the weekend. So now, I'm gonna get it all unloaded and then I'll show you the whole pile whenever I have it all piled up. All right, so here we go. We got it all pulled out and yeah, just this, this is the pile. Uh, it's just crazy how much stuff I got. And by my calculations, I'll have to uh, verify this later, but I think I got all of this for $63. Obviously the crown jewel, I feel like. May not be the crown jewel of profit, but at least coolness wise. Is this uh, Cording Delmonico Vintage Radio. I got that for $5, everyone, $5. And it is just, I mean, it does have flaws and everything, but it is beautiful. Everything else, I got a ton of vintage board games. I probably got 12 vintage board games at one sale. You know, all of these everywhere you can see. Uh, I got all of those for $3 total. Tried to give the person more, they wouldn't take more. It was amazing. The last sale where I got this antique radio act, the vintage radio act, um, I got all these boxes of stuff. They were just trying to get rid of stuff. And I'm just talking like these flats of stuff. They were selling for a dollar. You know, this whole flat of stuff was 10 cents. They were selling boxes of stuff for 50 cents. For a dollar. <laughs> for five dollars. And it's, it was just amazing. I mean, all of this stuff is just crazy stuff too. And I got two radios you can't even see picture there for free at that sale the board games i mean i think this game i've looked up just a little bit um whenever i was buying all this stuff and i think this game brand new it sells for like 500 dollars on ebay but i think i can get probably 100 dollars used out of it if it's all complete and everything conservatively i mean you just don't find all this stuff on a daily basis you guys actually might notice this guy from one of my previous videos I did pick up this one and I'm going to do the same thing I did to the last vintage GE radio that had the cassette player on it. I'll probably do that in another video of restoring that with that Windex again. Um, it, it is a different model, I think. I think instead of a, a B model, it's a C model. It's amazing, I got that for a dollar at one sale and I would pick out everything and show it to you. It, there would be just so much of the video spent picking out stuff. Sealed, brand new in the box. Uh, high output train set down there. I mean, you guys can do this too. Um, garage sales are around. Granted, this came in my hometown where I know that there are not a lot of people at because it's a smaller town. So there's not gonna be as many resellers from the city or urban areas, you would say, frequenting it. Deals are to be had. If you wanna see more of this stuff, like and subscribe. All right, so after looking at that pile of stuff that I got at the garage sales, I am back to packing orders. It is Monday, May 17th, and I have four eBay orders to ship out. I already just got done packing one that came from the garage. It was a vintage fender cover, and I sold that for $30 plus shipping. Second item I have to ship out is this Ford Woody Street Bud model car kit. This is the last of a large lot of model car kits that I bought at a garage sale several weeks ago. It sold for $21 plus shipping. The next item I'm not going to get out onto the table just yet because I'm gonna pack that last, but I sold this entire set of Corvette, the Sensuous American books. And I think there's an envelope with a letter in it to a subscriber. Basically it's a new subscriber letter. Um, these span from the 70s to the 80s, I believe. And I sold that for $110 plus shipping. This came from a large lot of Corvette stuff that I got for $360 a couple of weeks ago. Last one I gotta get up, right up here. This is a Welly diecast car. I think it's a 1955 Oldsmobile Super 88. 
I got this at a garage sale for $5, I think. It was not the greatest purchase in the world, but I saw it and die cast cars are really easy to ship. So I figured I'd take a chance on it. One of the unfortunate things was whenever you're looking at die cast cars, you just kind of have to inspect them to the best of your knowledge. Unfortunately, the best way to look and see if they have all the parts is to kind of scour eBay and look for ones that are similar to the one that you have. And that's the best way to tell if it's missing any parts, which could hurt the value a lot. And with this one, it did. If it had more of the parts with it, it probably would have been more valuable. This dash piece right here is very loose where the steering wheel is. And also it's missing the windshield. It's missing some screws from the bottom. So that all hurts the value, but I sold this for $10 plus shipping. It is Friday, May 21st, and I have three eBay orders to ship out today. This week I actually didn't sell anything on Tuesday or Thursday, and I forgot to film what I sold on Wednesday, but I only sold two items. I'll put both of those on either side of me right here. One sold, that fish finder for $277 plus shipping. The other thing I sold was some Hornady lead balls for a muzzle loader and super old. I got them from a garage sale just last week and I sold those for $20 free shipping. So the first thing I sold was this Chilton repair manual from 1964 to 1971. This came from that stack of manuals I got from that farm sale for $4 total. I've sold several already. I sold this one for $5 plus shipping. This is a Mitchell spinning fishing reel that I got at a garage sale a couple weeks ago, I think. I paid $3 for two reels. I sold the one already for $2. And so this one is just going to be free at cost. I've already made my money back on the two. I sold this one for $12 plus shipping. All right, this last one has an old inventory code. I think I know where it's at. Third thing I sold were these old magazine covers. They were just the cover only. And I got them in a lot of stuff for $2 quite a while ago, but I've already sold a lot of stuff from that that I've made my money back easily. So I just thought that somebody might be able to frame these and maybe hang them up somewhere. I sold those for $6 free shipping. So that is it for my orders that I'll be packing this week. It was a slow week. I'm not really sure why I didn't sell anything on Tuesday or Thursday. We'll hope for a better week next week. I'm very glad that Fish Finder sold because um, that's obviously a huge influx of revenue right there. And we'll hope for better sales next week. Thanks guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.